Welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to do uh, we are going to do a design review for this bridge. As you can see, this is a box bridge. You can see the dimensions. These are the requirements. We are going to design it by BS standards. So the first thing we have to do is look at the, the position of the beams. Those are the main grids, and you can see it's two meter all over. So we'll come to our system here we come to grids first thing x-axis we are going to have two meter and we're having it six times we should have seven grids that's okay apply next next we also come back again grid to grid it's 10.4 meter so we come to y there are two grid to grid is 10.4 meters you apply the Z axis you come to the profile you can see the first it's the total height is the height of the opening is 4 meter but we'll take it to the crown point at this point and then we'll offset the beam downwards so the total is 5.2 or 1.5 and 3.7 so you come to the Z value 1.5 and then from 1.5 we get the 3.7 apply then you apply so you'll have your first uh, rudimentary grid systems so for the beams okay so next we are going to draw um, the wing walls okay and for wing walls we can see that you measure it it comes to 800 but it's 56 56 56 56 okay so it's 45 degree angle and you know it's not part of the structure um, structurally but okay we, it's like a retaining wall but uh, let's do it so in order to do this you come to x axis you give it a minus 5.656 6, apply positive apply apply this also have it one 5.656 uh, I mean that should be negative copy add then here make it an, a positive apply there you go so these edges are the abutment walls and this is for the beams the next step now we are going to do modeling of the beams in order to do beams, you always come to RC beams. Okay, so you create your first beam. You can uh, check. You can see this is a meter deep, a meter by 450. It's 450. Now I zip the measurements. I had done it before, so I would know it. It's 450. So let's say it's class 35, it's a meter by 450. Let's call it foundation beam. Okay, then you add it, you close and you sketch it. Sorry, it should be from this edge to this end. Okay, but uh, I need to have it deflected downwards okay so in order to do this I'll come here okay I've created all those let it be relative this for the bottom let's call it offset 12 okay or let's call it foundation Foundation FND add 
close okay such that will sketch it again and you can see it's 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 uh, deflected downwards okay so allow me to delete this then i'll copy this all through to that to that or okay now we have our foundation beams while we are at it let's also do our slab geometry parameter call it the panels okay and since you're also drawing the panels anyway why can't you also do the wing ones okay so you come to this uh, oh, come on okay so let's do the wing ones just this point to top apex to that point apply okay okay I will copy this and paste but uh, let me draw okay sorry let's do that one more thing so edge to end to the apex to that point to panel apply this point to top to that to that apply okay we come to this end I might as well also do the abutment wall while I'm at it apply okay next thing we're going to do is to model the beams beams are 750 by 450 or we might check it at this point this for the abutment okay so 750 we come to this point i create a new i'll call it okay maybe i could write it by 450 Call it the Abut Abut DM. Call it class 35. Add close. And then I'll give it. Okay, I might also have the abutment offset. Abut offset. on top and close so we draw the first one select it come to rotation you make that a 90 degree there you go select it I need to copy it six times so this to that there you go Okay, is that all? We have that. I might as well copy this and mirror it. Okay, X, Z. There you go. See, it's taking shape already. The next, we have the middle uh, pier, and that's about 800 by 450. Here, 800 by 450. So we come to this point. Let's call it the pier beam class. Let's make it 35. 800 by 450 you add close sorry I'll do that again 35 
855 800 by 450 I need to name it so I call it the peer beam then you come to the edge add close you select this draw it but I need to rotate it 90 degrees okay select copy these six times then from this point to that point there you go next you are going to draw the top slab now okay top slab I mean the top top uh, system we are going to come we are come to this cross section it's 800 deep by 450 so we will create a beam again create that's 800 by 450 let's give it a name as just let's call it top beam class of concrete let's choose 35 you add and the close now we can sketch it start and then also you have to give it an offset so let's say top top beam of set and the offset is downwards so I just check this it's similar to the foundational you close select from that point to the next point then you close you select it and you duplicate it all through six to that point there you go and top slab its thickness is about 250 It's 250 okay it's a standard size anyway so we begin by drawing an arbitrary apply and you close obviously we have a problem okay so in most cases all I do is just I click I select it and you drag it in place or I activate the nodes I know it's at node 33 to 15 so I come I select this I drag it to that point and there you go okay make it 3d this is how it looks like okay and then you come back to your drawing again we have um, like a diaphragm beam beneath I'll come to this point uh, it's a meter by a meter meter by a meter and also at this point so what I do I create another beam I call it it's class 35 it's a meter by a meter so dia from beam okay you click add you close press foundation okay point to the next this point to the next to the next this is how uh, it's taking shape 
next we also have an 800 by 800 and we have this beam there next okay i'll call it the pier beam eight sorry eight zero zero by eight zero zero call it the pier beam Sorry, it's peer beam is somewhere here. Okay. But I need to give it a downward offset. Call it a apartment offset. Uh -huh. Nice. Then next we have 800 by 1150. So eight hundred is the height, eleven fifty. This we call the cobble. We add, we close. So cobble one. Well, should also be given a special I have to give it a special uh, offset and for cobble I'm going to pick it at the edge then okay I call it a cobble you add you close cobble we have it put it at that point there it is so but for this side you know draw it from right to left if you had drawn it from this side to this side it will have been on this opposite side there you go we have your beam we have our beam okay now we have to give it property thickness of abutment this is 450 millimeters thick. Give it property 450. And close. One, two, three, four. Then we close this. Then save it you will save it sorry I've not saved mine it might crash okay let me call it box bridge box bridge box bridge the name kilometer 36 so the way I work I usually uh, do this kilometer 36 and then within it I create DWG's calculations and quantities okay so we'll have uh, this I call it kilometer 36 I save it what else needs to be done oh yes the footing and for the footing we know this is a meter to the front face two meter to the back and this offset is 500 so we start with one meter offset there's one trick I use so for this select I draw like a construction range call it a construction select it and 
then the trick is to offset it one meter okay so i know one thing i know is that okay so i'll select it rotate it by 45 meter sorry that should be negative 45 okay negative 45 execute then you offset this by a meter uh, upwards so copy on the negative y zero negative one zero that's one meter and then to the back oh, it's one meter that's two meter to the front okay so that should be 3 meter execute there you go and then what I'll do I'll draw the construction element I call it the construction element I mean construction lines then all I'll do I'll select this element and this element also and then I rotate it back I rotate it back axis 1 axis 2 rotate it 45 execute oh, okay then I delete 1 I delete 2 there you go then I'll also delete this it served its purpose next I need this to be continuous to the end okay so um, so what I'll do from the top this is how it looks like it's not touching so I'll extend it okay alternatively I might just draw another beam another construction okay sorry I need to select 62 and then I select this one so that they meet at that point and also come here select this I select the next is this beam there you go now that I have the two I can delete the two construction ring walls and I can draw my footing panel on to the third point the midpoint and the end point apply that's it that's what you wanted but remember we still have the steel beams which we are using as our construction so select similar the cross section delete that's it okay you will mirror we'll then mirror this okay you'll mirror it select one and two mirror it to xz okay 
now we are seeing something funky that uh, the beams are 3d but the walls are 2d so if you if you care about things like that you just come to the panels and then you give it a thickness then you apply and there you have it now it looks 3d it looks uh, a bit realistic okay okay now that's the model We've not placed the supports, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, put the supports now. The one method of putting support will come to the planner. You create new and then you give it elastic. You check and check this and then you put your value. These are the Westergaard coefficients. So suppose the soil bearing capacity geotechnical is 200. So you will take 200 times factor of safety, which is maybe two times times 40. 40 is a fixed value. So in our case, then for therefore, what we'll do, we'll have. Okay, let me have my calculator. 40 times 2 times 150 that's 12,000 okay let's give it 250 because that's what you have in our drawing 20,000 that and that close panel to panel to panel to another panel okay there you go but the beams are also on support so we are going to give it a support for it this is it create a new one round two support 20 the Westergaard coefficient Let's add those two, okay? Add. Be close. Just to make sure, double click it again. While it's in place, then you select your beams. All the ground beams. Okay. You apply. But remember, this one's also rel uh, um, resting on the backfill. So for this, all I'll do, I'll release, I'll make this to be a zero. Okay. And then KY, our Y axis is in this direction. Okay. Direction of the backfill, which is centered by the green. So you add it and then you select them. Then we do our preliminary designs. Isolated nodes, that's not a big issue. And I'll show you how to get rid of it. That's it, okay. So for the isolated nodes found, you come to analysis calculation note I mean let's come to calculation messages you double click isolated nodes apparently it's only one and then you filter it out 
zoom on it 46 and click delete yes and you close and then you run designs again that's it zero error Stay tuned to the next lesson whereby we'll be doing the loadings of the structure. Um, stay tuned. Thank you. God bless.